YouTube, just a quick update on um, foods. Ready? Dr. Pepper. Full fat Dr. Pepper. Okay? Can you see that? E211. Sodium benzide. Okay? So, as the summer's coming, I'm trying to educate people. As far as I know, Coke has only got E150 in it. Um, but this has got the preservative E211 in it as well. So, you're going to have to avoid Dr. Pepper, full fat or low fat. So anyone I said that it prob might not have it in full fat, but I thought it didn't have it in full fat to be honest. I was given this. <laughs> I haven't drunk it yet. I don't intend to. Um, but it's got 211 in it, so you can't drink Dr. Pepper. I know this has got sodium benzide in it. My missus drinks it occasionally, but there's not a lot I can do about it. Sodium benzide, sodium bit sulfite, and that's Lucasaid. All brands of Lucasaid will have that in. Sainsbury's soft drink. Okay, this has got that natural one, the sweetener that's made with um, sucrose, right? Then it says, we don't use benzoid preservatives or aspartame sweetener. Now looking at what's in it, there's no artificial flavours. Beta coating, which is the natural colour. Sucrose is the only, that's made out of sugar. That's it, yeah, this is okay to drink. But I, don't, I still don't like the fact they're making something out of sugar. I, don't, I just don't like that. But it, it's okay, okay? Vegetable gravy, I use this a lot. Well, I say use this a lot. It's got um, it's got a flavour enhancer. It's got monosodium glutamine in it. And it's got the emulsifier in it as well. Which is E621 and E322. It's in gravy. You can't get away from it. Um, don't use it very often, probably one little tablespoon when I have a bit of vegetables. I'll try and use tart sauce or something like that, but so much of it's got it in. Same with like curry sauce, that's got it in as well. Yeah, just use in moderation. If you have to use, use in moderation. Because it, sometimes it, your food's going to be so dry, right? um, especially as I'm veggie as well. Right, green tea with green clove biloba. Right, this is very interesting. Green Globe Lola Leaf was taken as a part of a daily healthy diet and lifestyle. It's best known for its ability to help maintain healthy circulation. Green tea is at the forefront of the antioxidant protection. These marvellous substances help neutralise harmful excess free radicals. Free radicals. Sodium benzides causes free radicals. Yeah? This will help eliminate it. So if you have to have a bottle of one of those a day, drink that tea as well. You will then at least cover yourself a bit. Um, ginseng tea. Ginseng tea, thousands of years, it's helped maintain the body's natural vitality and support its natural well-being. So that helps letting it in and being well, you know, your immune system, keeping everything working, etc, etc. So, summer's coming. If you can get reverse on osmosis for your for your water, if not buy a bottle of water or buy tap water, I, mean, I get the bottle of water free sometimes, yeah, um, that was free, um, long story, not going to go into it, um, what else, most Sainsbury's foods, their own brands are usually quite good, but as I say, just look out for E621's uh, flavour enhancer, the most takeaway foods, E211, avoid if you can, but if you if you have to drink it occasionally or use it occasionally, drink this and it will eradicate some of the free radicals which cause cancer. I thought that might help. And I think that's the one that Turquoise Voice was talking about. Is that right? Confirm that for us, really, please. Peace, love and light to all.